what is up everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is gray square and you are tuned into my NICU awareness month series we are on episode three if you need to catch up on episode one and two where i talked a little bit about what NICU Awareness Month is about and how to give back to the NICU and honor the families in the NICU. I will have those videos linked below. And last episode, we went a little bit over simple NICU terminology, and I'll have that video posted up here so you can catch up. So episode number three is all about the must-haves in the NICU. When I was on hospital bed rest, I was researching like, what will I need in the NICU? So this video is basically for the moms that know they might have a NICU stay or are currently in the NICU and they need ideas of what they should have. And to make it easier for you, my daughter Olivia, who was a preemie, she was born 29 weeks and now she is almost 16 months, 13 corrected. She has a storefront on Amazon and she has built a store based on her activities and including a section just for preemie parents. So make sure you check out the link below and basically all the must-haves will be in her store. So I decided to add 10 must-haves to this video and we're gonna start with number one. And for number one, I put comfortable clothes, pumping bra, and a V-neck shirt. The reasons why I chose these items, you definitely want to be comfortable in the NICU, wear your sweats, bring your slippers in your bag, <laughs> like you want to be comfortable because first of all it's cold, so definitely bring your sweatpants, second of all you might be there all day. I know I was there all day and I was always in sweats and it just made things really easier. I felt at home and I was very comfortable. Um, the second item I chose for clothes is a pumping bra. To make your pumping go easier, it's easy to have the bra on so you can pump while you're using your hands either to fill out paperwork, like you always have to in the NICU, you can journal and also be on your phone. So the next clothing item I chose was a v-neck shirt and the reason why I chose a v-neck shirt is it's so easy for when you want a kangaroo hold and do skin to skin. It could just plop your little baby in your v-neck. Number two item on my Nikki must have list is a blanket. Actually two blankets. So you're going to want to bring a blanket for yourself for two reasons. The NICU and hospitals in general are very freezing. So you're gonna wanna be comfortable and have a blanket on, especially if you're wearing a V-neck, you bring your extra sweatshirt, but also a blanket. The second reason for having a blanket is when you're warm, you produce more milk. So I had a heating blanket I would always wrap around myself in the pumping station. So the second blanket will be like a cute quilt or a cute small blanket for your baby not for them to be wrapped in, but to place over their isolate. Um, this helps take off the extra light, extra noise, and makes them feel comfortable and makes them feel like that they're still in the womb. Number three on the NICU must-have list, bring your gadgets. Bring your phone charger, bring your iPad, bring your phone, bring your camera, bring a charger. And one of the chargers I had, luckily my best friend gave it to me, it was one of those long chargers because you might not have an outlet right next to you and you don't want to mess with whatever the baby has going on in the incubator. So um, I had a very long charger that would plug up, that plugged up against the wall and I was good to go. I had my headphones in so I could listen to music while I'm journaling, while I'm in the pumping station I can watch YouTube videos or whatever you want to watch, Netflix, um, buy a camera. Like, or you can use your camera on your phone so you can document every single milestone of your little miracle. Number four, bring a water bottle. Um, you really can't bring stuff into the NICU like food, beverages. So our NICU had like a water station and when you are pumping and when you're there all day, you get really, really thirsty. So I would always take my water bottle and just refill it so I wouldn't have to like get continue to buy water bottles, like plastic bottles, 
um, every single day because that can add up. So invest in like a little $10 water. I'll have my favorite water bottles linked below in Olivia's storefront. So you can get an idea. They have cute ones that like say mom things and track how much water you're drinking a day. And you want to stay hydrated when you're pumping. So number five, bags. You need to bring two bags. One, um, an isolated bag that you're able to bring your breast milk from home that you pump and bring it to the NICU so the nurses can store. And two, a backpack that carries your blanket, your books, anything that you need. Sweatshirt, you just need a cute little backpack. It could actually be your diaper bag so you can like feel like you're in mommy mode. Six, school supplies like notebooks and pens and coloring books and markers. I had so many adult coloring books while I was in the NICU. It's definitely a way that I was able to relax and you want a journal or a notebook so you could document how you're feeling. Writing is definitely healing during this time. Um, you want pens. You always want pens because throughout your NICU journey you're going to find yourself filling out random paperwork, random surveys, and you want your pens for that and also for you to write in your journal. Number seven. So this is one you definitely have to ask your nurse if this is allowed but um, I know I've mentioned before you can't really bring food into the NICU but you can also see if you can bring small snacks like I would always have a bag of lactation cookies in my bag and also I'd have like neutral grain bars and just little snacks like cheese bags um, so I could snack throughout the day because when you are pumping and you're there all day, you get really hungry. So definitely check with your charge nurse or even your primary nurse if you can bring small snacks. Number eight, decor, nursery decor. A main way for healing is to make your NICU room or your NICU area like a nursery. Your baby's there all day, so you want to put personal items to make yourself feel better and also for your baby to feel comfort. Um, I know a lot of people were able to bring their swings, you know, our nurses would decorate our rooms with little milestone cards. And I'll also have my favorite nursery decor appropriate for the NICU linked below in Olivia's storefront. Like I mentioned earlier, you can get a cute quilt to put over your baby's isolette. When they move to open crib, you can buy one of those, um, those mobile, why can't I think? I think they're just called mobiles. I'm thinking of Olivia's right now and also like the fish tanks that play nursery rhymes um once again you have to check with your nurse because sometimes when babies are overstimulated in the NICU they're not able to rest so they can grow so definitely check with your nurse what you can bring to decorate your nine toiletries so when you're in the NICU you're constantly washing your hands you're constantly using hand sanitizer so you definitely want lotion in your bag you want chapstick in your bag and you also want your personal mini hand sanitizer. Another thing that you can pack in your bag is Clorox wipes, just in case your NICU isn't fully stocked and you want to wipe down the common used items such as the pumps and also the chairs that you're sitting on. Obviously the NICU prepared me for COVID. And last but not least, your baby clothes. Once your baby gets the okay to wear outfits, you definitely are gonna start going to Carter's and whatever sells preemie clothing and bringing those clothes to the NICU. Um, it's definitely also part of healing to put your baby in preemie clothing because it makes you feel like this is beginning to feel normal. To be honest, once you're pregnant, one of the first things you think about is all the cute baby clothes. So it's very special the day that your baby finally can wear an outfit. All right, that is my 10 must-haves. I hope that this video was very helpful to the moms in the NICU or soon to be in the NICU. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss episode four of my NICU month awareness series. Later.